to our Advent journey. I hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, my name's Andy. Welcome to another Advent story. This one is a bit strange. It happens years after King David, who we've just heard about. And it's all about a special messenger from God. He's a bit like a postman, really. He delivers messages from God. Now, this guy, Jeremiah, he's known as the weeping prophet, as the prophet who cries, the messenger who cries. Why is he known as that? Well, because when he used to deliver his messages, sometimes people would cry. Some of his messages were a bit tough to hear. You see, Jeremiah came to tell the people that they needed to turn back to God. They needed to stop sinning. But a lot of the time, people didn't listen. So God warned them and warned them and warned them. And eventually God sent in a massive army and they came and took everyone from Jerusalem, the capital city. They took the rich people, the poor people, even the king and Jeremiah. They destroyed God's temple and they took them all to a city far, far away, far away from their home the people began to realise that actually they were far away from God too. So now they were ready for another message from God. Look, and Jeremiah was going to be the one to deliver it. Now I'm not sure he had an envelope and a letter. But the message went something like this. Dear my children, I've got bad news, I've got good news, and I've got even better news. The bad news is you're going to stay far away from me for a long, long time. So build a house, build a garden, love where you live. The good news is I'm going to do something great while you're away. All the people are going to look at you and see that you're so different because of the way that I love you, and they'll get to know me too. And the even better news is that all your plans aren't working out anymore. My plan is, and I've got a better plan, a forever plan, to take all the darkness and make it light. A plan to bring you back to me. A plan to send someone else whose name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Love from God. This message didn't make the people cry. No, this message made them laugh, made them full of joy. But as time went on, it was tough. And Jeremiah would look back at that broken, demolished temple and think how sad it was. You see, God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Jeremiah, far from home, began to hope and pray. God, you should know this now, will you come back to stay? Have a great week. See you later.